Welcome to Explore With Kids. So in this video, I'm going to check out whether the Kassan 100 amp hour lithium battery, uh, the one with 100 amp hours continuous discharge, is going to work with an induction cooktop. You know, I've previously done a review on that battery uh, in another video and was very impressed with its performance. Now, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link in the comment sections below. Now, please note, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies in this video and paid for everything out of my own pocket. You know, I want to keep this channel honest without bias. We'll continue to pay for goods I test and review out of my own pocket. In return, we'd love it if you could subscribe to this channel so I could continue doing more of these videos. To be honest with you, this whole induction thing I thought was really a bit of a gimmick to work with, uh, to start with, to be honest. Um, you know, is it really gonna work? You know, I've seen other people do it, so I thought, you know, why not? I'd give it a try. So I purchased a Westinghouse 2001 induction cooktop uh, and used all the previous equipment I had, you know, such as the Victron Bluetooth Smart Shunt, the one that allows you to monitor via the app, and then the uh, Victron charger set to a lithium profile, plus my Enerdrive 2001 inverter. Now I've actually built a canopy for the back of the ute. You could probably see that behind me there. Uh, and actually built and mounted an electrical board in the canopy. Look, I'll do another video showing what we've done and how I fitted out the canopy and all the drawers, etc. Now, why did I choose the Westinghouse induction cooktop? You know, I've read some reviews uh, on this particular cooktop and they were all pretty good. And I also liked the fact that it was still in line. You know, I chose something that was portable so you can move it around, you know, if you're at camp and also have the ability to use it on 240, wherever you are. So that could be in the house, camp, kitchen, or basically wherever there's a 240 outlet. Now, one of the main issues with induction cooktop is that you need to have the correct pots and pans to work with that type of uh, cooking. You know, I got out our previous camping pans and they didn't work. That was a real pain and had to use the pots we have at home, which were compatible, thankfully. To see how this well, this combination of battery induction cooktop would work, you know, I decided to cook a meal. In this case, it was hot dogs. You know, good old hot dogs. Simply boil the water, drop the hot dogs in, bring it to the pole, and simmer. You know, pretty simple meal, you'd think. So first up, I found that the maximum temperature or wattage I could use was 1,000 watts. At 1,000 watts, I found I was drawing around uh, 95 amps. You know, the Kassan battery has a 100 amp hour maximum continuous discharge. You know, I wanted to ensure that I was within the battery manufacturer's spec, so I kept it to this wattage. Now, here's what I found. It took about 15 minutes for the water to boil and consumed around 27 amps to boil the water from cold. Um, so basically it was dead cold to boiling. You know, and then this left me with about 69% left of the battery and we haven't even cooked the full meal yet. So next I added in the hot dogs to the water and brought it back to the boil and then let those hot dogs cook for another 8 to 10 minutes. So overall this took another uh, 15 minutes uh, in, in total to, to get these hot dogs going. So the final measurements after the hot dogs have been cooked, we actually used around 50 amp hours, you know, leaving around 40% discharge. And really that's only 20% usable when you look at it. Uh, cooking time was approximately 30 minutes. Now note, during this time, the fridge was running off the battery and also the LED strip lights and the canopy were also on. Now, what are my thoughts on using this battery or any other 100 amp hour battery um, with an induction cooktop? And note, you must have like 100 amp hours continuous discharge. Look, it does the job, but it does have its limitations. If you use this setup to cook a meal at night, you'd be basically left with only 20% battery capacity to run your fridge and charge any devices or whatever you wanted to do for that night. You know, that 20% would probably be enough depending on the ambient temperatures, but it's cutting it pretty close in my opinion. The other issue is only having 100 amp hours uh, available, a continuous discharge, it's not enough to use the cooktop to its full capability. 
Personally, I don't think this level of uh, lithium battery is capable of this style of use. And personally, you probably need like a 200 amp hour lithium battery. And yeah, minimum, you probably want 200 amps of maximum continuous discharge. So that's it for this video. Hope it's been helpful and would love you to give us a thumbs up. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button to get notified when we release another video. We're always checking out new sites and playing around with gear and equipment. If you have any other questions or comments, hit us up in that comment section below and I'll do my best to answer any questions. Until next time.